Getting started with Eclipse. When you first put in the uh, install the AMZ, you'll find an icon on your desk labeled the AMZ IDE for Interactive Development Environment. That development environment is Eclipse. Eclipse is um, an open source, very popular professional, full professional development environment. It works around the concept of projects. You don't do a single file in it as you might with a simpler kind of development environment for Prolog, but you work with projects. And the first thing Eclipse wants to know is where do you want to store your project definitions? That's called the, work the workspace. And here it's proposing a directory to put it in. You can put it anywhere, but we will take that. Now note that the workspace is where Eclipse keeps information about projects. It's not where your actual source code is that could be stored anywhere else that you want uh, on your machine. Here we have the Eclipse development environment. It's empty at this point because we don't have any projects. So we will create a new project up here with file, new, project. And of these two, we can select uh, open up prologue. That might be closed on your machine when you first started. It's open on mine. Uh, there's project. And we select that and go to next. It wants a name, and we're going to be building an application that shows how to do some pricing for phone calls, so we'll call it phone pricing. And we'll put it in the default location, but we could uncheck that box and store this anywhere on our machine that we might like. Now that it's created a project, it's put in. This little triangle here uh, will allow you to uh, expand it and see what's in it. This open folder indicates that the project is open. Right clicking on the project will let us close the project um, like that and it looks like that when it's closed. Right clicking again uh, we can open the project and it's open. And here is a, where we'll put some binaries and some files that Eclipse uses. None of these are our source code at this point. So we need to create a source code file, a prolog file. So we ask for a new file and we'll call it rate because it's going to come up with the uh, rate and all of the prolog files end in .pro and so we'll call it rate.pro and it's going to be in our phone pricing uh, folder <coughs> and now uh, we're in the edit window over here is the navigator window and this shows our various projects that we've got which is our just one right now um, this is our edit window where we can now edit uh, rate.pro and we can put in two simple rules. Uh, the, the rate is five cents when it's a weekend. And the rate is nine cents when it's a weekday. So we now have two simple rules for pricing. The asterisk indicates that the file hasn't been saved. So we can go over here and save our file. And now we want to run it in the interpreter. And in the interpreter is how we can play with Prolog programs and see what they're doing. Uh, so now we can go um, run. And there's a lot of different ways to run things. You'll see all sorts of uh, tools up here. But the way I usually do it is go straight to the run menu. And there's again a bunch of options. I go to run as. And from run as, we're going to run it as an interpreted single file. A uh, project will let us run multiple files. But now we just want to run this single file so we can use the interpreted single file. And what it does is it starts up the interpreter, or as it's called, the listener in Prolog. Now mind you, we're not teaching Prolog at this point, but just the workflow of Eclipse, how to use Eclipse to um, work and develop a Prolog program. So the focus here is not the Prolog so much, but just the workflow. So we created a project. Um, we edited a uh, source code file. We're now running it in the listener. And in that listener, we can do anything we can do in a prologue listener. For example, assert that it's a weekend. And we can assert that. And now we can ask a question, what is the rate of a phone call, given that it was the weekend? And the rate is 5 cents. We hit Enter um, to get back to the question mark dash, which is the listener prompt. We can do listing which will show us all the thing that's in our workspace right now and the listing shows us our two rules for rate and our assertion that the weekend is true. When we're done with the listener, if we want to go back to edit mode, we need to close the listener. And to close the listener, we do it as you would any prologue listener by typing the word quit with a period after it. Quit period. 
and now we can see that the listener is finished and now we might want to go up and continue development having seen that our program works so far we can now make some changes we might want to add some more complexity to our weekday rates and say that it's uh, the rate is seven on a weekday if it's nighttime so we'll give them a better rate for the nighttime and the rate is nine on a weekday if it's daytime it's still five cents anywhere in the weekend so now we've made some changes to our program we hit save again we go up to run run as interpreted single file and now we have our new program running down here in the listener and we now need to assert that it's a weekday and we can assert that it's daytime and now we can ask for the rate and the rate is nine cents we can experiment some more we can retract daytime and we can assert that it's nighttime and then ask for the rate and the rate is now seven so we can see that our program is working we can type quit we can be satisfied with a day's work well done we can close our files up here and we can close our project if we want and we can exit Eclipse and that's it